You're about to discover five YouTube mistakes to avoid, allowing you to move forward, drive those views, and grow a channel, you dig? Brian G. Johnson! Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back, high five! If you're new to the channel and you wanna not only upload your videos to YouTube, but amplify them, well make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. I've seen so many promising YouTubers make these common mistakes. It's a shame because these mistakes detract success. Let's get cracking. Before you jump in is you don't, <laughs> this is a biggie, you don't wanna move forward and just drop all your money on a camera because then you're left with poor audio very often, or you're left with a great shot, but poor lighting. So step number one is make sure you have adequate gear in these four departments. First off, it's all about the lighting. If you're on a budget, no problem. Simply take the time to address these elements. Hey, how am I gonna light my videos? If you're on a budget, find the best room in your house, look for natural lighting. Look for inexpensive ways to improve upon the lighting. Second, the camera. Again, don't sink the entire budget into a camera. Instead, look for a camera that's gonna fit your needs. If you're gonna be shooting out and about, then you might wanna hook yourself up with like a point and shoot, like the RX100 or the Canon G7X. These are small portable cameras that really fit the bill for what you're gonna create. Lastly, again, for those on a budget, a mobile phone is so powerful today if you take the time to address things like audio and lighting. And that brings us to audio. Audio is really important, and small tweaks to your setup can greatly improve. What am I talking about? Notice how the audio is a little cleaner, a little deeper, sounds a little better, and why? Because the audio, the microphone, is very close to my mouth. If you're hooking yourself up with one of the fancy DSLRs like a Canon 70 or 80D, then it's really important that you have a microphone. Lastly, take the time to really identify how you're gonna edit your footage and start learning your editing software. Whether you're editing on your phone or on a desktop computer, whether you're using Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, iMovie, it doesn't matter. What matters is the knowledge you have when it comes to using your editing software. Now, the gear is nearly as important as having an understanding of what your channel is gonna become. This is the thing that most YouTubers don't take the time to understand. And because of it, it's the thing that slows the growth. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're into gaming, you're into vlogs, and you love to cook. You're super excited about YouTube. So you get the camera, you get the stuff, you're pretty darn exciting, this is exciting! And you start cranking out videos. Videos about cooking, videos about gaming, because who doesn't like to slay in Overwatch now and then? And you're so inspired by Casey Neistat that you start shooting vlogs. The problem with this approach is when someone lands on a new channel that's got a handful of videos about food, a handful of vlog videos, and some gaming videos, nothing stands out. There's no awesome factor. However, if you take the time to identify what you want your channel to become in the coming three months, in the next year, if you identify what's gonna make your channel awesome, then that will greatly impact the videos you create. And as you build out your channel, your channel will slowly become that thing. Like the number one Italian cooking channel on YouTube, or the number one gaming channel that covers old school shooters like Doom and Quake. And this is why this works so well. When you create a theme channel around one central idea, like old school shooters, or a vlogging channel, or Italian cooking channel, what happens is there is a group of people that are highly passionate about that subject. And when they find your channel, they're like, wow, this is exactly the thing I love. And they subscribe. And this is again, the difference between those that have huge success and those that struggle. If you wanna move forward and drive those views and gain subscribers, well, make sure to click the B to the G icon below I'll keep you up to date on the latest happenings here on YouTube. I'll share the strategies that have allowed me to succeed 
and you'll feed a poodle. I got two. I'll see you next time. Poof.